Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Not knowing what to do, but keep on wallowing in the circles of secrets. It's like reading a black note We think to what is not written It's like searching in the black Not saying what you are searching for I didn't embarrass her in front of the maids and guards Because she's your woman I chose to keep calm Because mom and dad took her as one of us But stealing from me is completely unacceptable Sandra, she didn't steal from you so look elsewhere. Maybe the maids or even the guards. <laughs> oh no. Nancy is the only one that have unrestricted access to my room. So because she has unrestricted access to your room, that's enough reason to accuse her of stealing from you? Look Nancy, I think you really need to calm down. Okay, you have to stop crying. Even if you cry from now till tomorrow, it will not change anything. So just calm down. I believe my brother will sort out things before the end of the day. I need you to be happy. Just try to be happy. I know it's very hard to be happy when they accuse you wrongly. But try to be happy, okay? You don't need to cry or be sad like this whole day. Calm down. Hmm? Calm down. Like Sandra, you're taking this too far, and I suggest you soft pedal. Hillary, I am willing to take this to any length to make sure she returns my gold necklace. She's a thief, and I will not condone such acts. I will not take this from you. Calling my woman names right in front of me. Are you mad or something? I won't take that! The more you say ugly things about her, the more you get me upset. Do you understand that the woman you are sharing apart with words is my wife to be? Apologies, Hillary. But I still insist. She took my gold necklace. I left her in my room to go answer to father when he called. And when I returned, she was gone with my necklace. Okay, I am going to ask her again just to fulfill all righteousness, but I assure you she didn't steal from you. She took my necklace. Tell her to return it, else I will make this palace unconducive for her. Please don't tell your brother, I promise you, it was no intentional. Please, 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 please. I, I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't. It's okay, baby. All I need you to do now is pull yourself together and feel free, okay? Okay, baby. Why would I? You know my father provides everything for me, baby. You know. I know. You know. Yes, I know. Why would I steal from her? Why, baby? Pretender. Father, don't let those tears deceive you. She's just pretending. She stole my gold necklace. Please ask her to give it to me now, else... Else what? Else you'll become a man and stand the red to urinate. Now listen, Sandra, from this moment on, I want you to watch your talk. Watch whatever you say to her because I will not take an inch of your insult on my woman again. Hillary, I will call her whatever name I want. She's a thief. Will you shut your mouth before I shut it for you, Sandra? 
What is wrong with you? We're here trying to uh, see how we can recover your stolen gold necklace. The least you can do is to just be calm and watch how this discussion turns out. Father, Nancy stole my necklace. What's the point in searching? All you need to is tell her to return my necklace. Really? Yes. Father, please, can I, can I take her out to make sure she stops crying then? Bring her back for this discussion to continue, please. You have my permission. Thank you, Father. Father. I'll be back, Father. Sandra. Father. Nancy is our visitor. You cannot just go on and accuse her of stealing your necklace without investigating. But I am not accusing her. She stole my necklace. Why is it difficult for everyone to believe me? We'll see to that. Do you think Nancy stole the princess's gold necklace? I don't think so. Nancy came from a rich family. So, I don't see any reason why she can steal what she can afford. That is to say the princess accused her of this. Yes. And that's very unfair. My dear, you're right. The princess lacked respect. Once it's come to a matter of this nature, trust me, she can go to any length to disgrace Nancy. I don't think the prince will let her humiliate Nancy in such manner. He loves her so much and he can do anything just to protect her. Yes, so you are right. Let's go to our duty force. Before they start looking for us. Let's see him. I don't know what's wrong with these maidens. They will just leave their duty posts and come to the backyard and start gossiping. Ah uh ah! -uh. There are so many things to do in the palace, they won't do them. They will just come out here and start gossiping. I just pray the queen will catch them one day and send them out of this palace. Uh -uh. I don't know what is wrong with joy and peace. Every time you see those two together, they're always gossiping. They have nothing serious to do in this palace. I'll report them to the royal family so they will discipline them. No, 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 I don't think so. I mean, you're not the one that employed them. So, allow the royal family to catch them and discipline them. But the one is getting too much. Anytime you see those two, they are gossiping. Eh? They're not doing anything in this palace. I want them out. My dear. Our duty here is just to work and get paid at the end of the month. Anyway, you are right here. Yeah. Let's go and do our work. Let's go. It's okay. I know she accused you wrongly and she must apologize to you. If your family doesn't want me in here anymore, you just say it and I will leave. Come on, why would you say a thing like that? We agreed you're going to spend a week before returning. That was the plan. That is how it's going to be. But your sister is making it unbearable for me. Why would she accuse me? Why? How can I see you as gold? I want you to know that no one will be living in this long as I'm here. Keep me. Okay. Shut up. Um, Larry, can I see you, please? Okay, after you. Alright. Doubt. You really love him. Of course, I really love him. I love him wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, who is this guy? Prince Collins, of course. I love him. Prince so what? Collins. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, God, God. Oh God. I can see you don't have something important to say. And it is obvious that you are dreaming. The earlier you wake up from this dream, the better for you. Oh, Jane, be 
You can laugh at me all you want. I don't care. Just watch and see how I make my way to the prince's heart. You will be here. How I won't go my way to the prince's heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, oh. But when you have something important to say, I will listen to you. Good jealousy, job. jealousy, Thank you. jealousy, Prince jealousy. Prince Just Prince watch Prince. and see. Hmm. The prince will be mine very soon. Why is she sneaking around? And what do you mean by I should ask my woman? Does she look like a thief to you? Bro, oh, I think you really need to calm down. Because when you were talking to Sanjay a while ago, she... Oh, look! Collins. Good days, my friend. You cannot convince me into believing that she took that necklace. Can you just hear me out? Well, I'm done listening to you. If you have anything meaningful to say, come to the living room and say it. Can you imagine? Uh -uh. You didn't even know what I was to tell him. Eh? And he even walked out of me. Like... I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. No, it's fine. Okay, um, do you still want to continue with the meeting or I should take you somewhere no, no, quiet no, no, and no. nice to freshen up? It's fine. Let's go back and see to the end. Okay? I promise I'll be fine. Is that exactly what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I promise to solidly stand with you. No one will intimidate you. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Come with me, baby. Come. We are going round and round in the circles, circles of things. We are going in the circles. Hey, hey, my prince. There's something I want to tell you. Okay. Oh yes. Hey, my prince. I saw Nancy sneaking out from the princess room. When was that? Just moments ago. She must have returned the gold necklace. <laughs> what a smart girl. Okay, no one must know you saw her coming out from my sister's room. Okay? I can see Nancy is in good spirits now, and that she can speak for herself. Nancy? Your Highness. You heard the accusations leveled against you. Father, it is not an accusation. It is the truth. Sandra, let this be the last time you would ever interrupt when I am speaking. I'm sorry, Father. Nancy? Your Highness. Did you take the necklace? I didn't. I said it. Case closed. That's it, bro. Six, I suggest you go back to your room and make a proper search. You might find it somewhere. Oh, Collins. I know where I keep my jewelries. And I've never misplaced them. Miss Perfect, 
please go with the heads to your room. Search thoroughly. Something tells me he's in there. My necklace is not there. What's the point in searching? Can't she you just do what Father has said. Well, um, Sandra, you will go back to your room with two mates. Search that room thoroughly, and then you get back to me. I just she just do as dad has said. Ah go ahead. Hurry up. Please make sure you search everywhere. Proper. Hilary, I agree with what you said. She could have misplaced the necklace. But everyone knows his son and every day occurrence when she misplaced her stuff and, and, and accuse someone else, then that she will find it. We found the necklace under her pillow, my king. <laughs> it's perfect. I know where I keep my things. Drop it here. It's like walking in the dark, cannot see, cannot know what's standing right beside you. You just have to keep walking and keep on believing. You cannot see. I said it, Father. The magic can never steal from her. What was she not have? You must always look carefully before you leave. See how you embarrassed her. For nothing. Sandra, you owe her an undeserved apology. I will do no such thing. Yes, you will. Don't you know the, the extent you went to to embarrass her? You have to apologize. Has to be now. I waited for you. You didn't show up. I even called your lines. You didn't pick. Neither did you return any of my calls. I'm so sorry, Jay. Something came up in the palace that requires my full attention. What could that be? My sister. My sister accused my woman of stealing her gold necklace. I don't understand. This is the third time within a month something like this is happening in the palace. Are you sure this is ordinary? Yes. The one that happened today is ordinary. And why did you say that? I mean, my sister just accused my woman because she is the only one who has access to her room. You know what, my prince? I need you to find a lasting solution to this problem. Things can be missing anyhow in the past. I will, Jay. At least I'm happy. I'm happy my woman didn't um, steal her necklace as she had lived. Well, it's good. It's good. I'm good. So, what's up? Can we make this tomorrow, please? What up, bro? How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, you're looking good. It's just that I've been smiling. I can see that. Everything about Prince Collins pleases me. How do you mean? See, I, I'm suspecting you, okay? <laughs> Why? See, how can you be admiring your fellow man? Oh, come on, you have allowed me to conclude what I was saying Fine. before interrupting Fine. me. Fine. How do you mean? Well, all I'm saying is, I like his sense of dressing. He's clean, simple, and his costly stock. Wow, wow. So you're glad that? You know, I'm not blind. I see everything in this palace. I like him too. I think I'll be like him when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> see, just 
Just do, do what you can do. Keep on believing. You cannot see the light again. While walking, you keep on wondering. So it was all wrong accusation. Princess is too mannerless. Watch your tongue before you put yourself into trouble. But that is true. See how she made the innocent Nancy a thief before her family members. That's very bad. If I were her, I would leave this palace without delay. Hmm. Leaving the palace will not solve the problem because the necklace has been found. Secondly, the prince stood by her. My dear, let's go back to our duty post, please. Okay? Right. I'll see you later. Circles, 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 but I keep wondering why you stole a gold necklace you can afford for yourself. You know, every time I'm alone with something that does not belong to me, all I keep hearing is still, still, still. It's so embarrassing. I'm tired. But I think you can really work on yourself, and all this will be a thing of past. Who says that? I have tried, I've done everything I can, but all my efforts prove supportive. The annoying part is that the kind of things I steal, so embarrassing. Can you imagine me stealing like things like chewing gum, lighter, biscuit? It's very embarrassing. I don't know. Well, I think you need to calm down. In time, everything will be fine. Just calm down. I don't know why I trust you in my secret, Prince. Please, even your brother does not know about this. Please, until I find the solution to my problem. Let this be between two of us. I promise you it won't happen again. Please. Okay. Are you not done cooking? I'm done. I'm just waiting to go and serve. Oh! <laughs> Do you notice something I'm not in this palace? Notice? What could I be? You've not observed what I'm observing in this palace. <laughs> okay. Prince Collins. He's been seen in secluded areas in this palace with Nancy. You see, Jen, if you're here for your gossip, I am not ready. <laughs> hmm? It's not gossip. I am not here for gossip. I am just concerned of the well-being of the people in this palace. You see, Jen, I want to go and serve food. I am not cutting for your gossip. Like I said, I am done cooking and I want to go and serve. This is not gossip. I am telling you what is happening in this palace. I am just concerned of the well-being of everybody in this palace. Not as if I'm gossiping. Jen, mm -hmm. even the prince you're craving for, does not even notice you. Are you really killing yourself? What is your problem? Can't you allow these people be? Jane, that is why you remain in this kitchen. But excuse me. Can you imagine this girl? Good day, my darling Prince Charming. Good day. My prince. My prince, is there anything you need and I'll make it available without delay? Don't worry, I'm fine, you can go. <laughs> my prince, <laughs> my prince, we do like what happened. Will you get out from this place? Eh? Are you okay? I mean, get out from here before you lose your job. What's eh? wrong with you? If eh? <laughs> I repeat myself again, you will lose your job immediately. Now leave! <laughs> Idiot! Take on that sheep! Where she talks, where she carries me. Jane! What happened to you? 
I have never been embarrassed in my life like this before. Who embarrassed you? It's not the prince. It's not Prince Collins. What did he do to you? Okay, I greeted him more peacefully. Oh, he didn't even look as if somebody was talking to him. Then you know now. I am say to one put my way into his heart. Ah, if you see the way Prince Collins shouted at me, I said I am nobody. Ah, I have oh. never been disgraced like this in my life. Hey. <laughs> of course, yes. You are nothing to him. <laughs> my dear, the earlier you get that into your thick skull, the better for you. Do you guess realize that I am the chief maid in this palace? Mm -hmm. Listen, I take this as an insult. And I demand an apology right now. <laughs> no need for demanding for an apology. What she just told you now is the obvious truth. Mm. Do you think Prince Collins would descend so so low to date a local girl like you? Mm. Of course, the answer is no. Yes. Wake up. No doubt, this is an obvious gang. Oh. But I don't care. Just watch me and see how I wangle my way to the prince. Oh. <laughs> and you both. And see with your eyes. Dreamer. Keep dreaming. Yes, allow me to dream. dream. Is this your dream? Is this your dream? Okay. <laughs> Jealous. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell you that I'll be traveling tomorrow. Traveling to where? I need to go and look for a solution to my problem. Come on, Asim. Don't blow this out of proportion. You just need to work on yourself and things will fall back normal. Mm -mm. This is a spiritual problem. And the earlier I take care of it, the better for me. Look, I just think you it's have to... It's okay, Prince Collins, it's fine. Trust me, I have to do this. Do you believe that I've been responsible for almost everything missing in the palace? From the king's royal diadem, your brother's singlet, the chef's money, your brother's car keys, and even the queen's royal bead. I know, the color of the thing. Pink and tight. I choose to go with pink. <laughs> well, as for me, blue doesn't. Oh. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I think it's better. No, it's more royal. I agree with you on that. <laughs> for my concern, I'm sure to go. Greetings, my princess. You know, you're still, you're still worried about me. I saw the one you bought during the weekend, the designer shirt. Oh my goodness, you're right! Oh yes, I have that in mind, but I am going to wear that next week for Christmas birthday! I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. What's that? Nothing. Nothing for the comedy. The event is going to be top notch. I really cannot wait. I'm ready to imagine the reality. Oh. The event is going to be call of fame. I really cannot wait. Oh, oh really? I can't wait. <laughs> Where is my royal bead? Greetings, Mom. Are you talking to me? Of course, I'm talking to you. If you know where you kept it, just go and bring it. Go and bring it from where you kept it now. Mom? You are accusing me wrongly and I don't like it. I am not accusing you wrongly. You've always told me how much you love it. You asked for it, I said I wasn't going to give you. You decided to go about it your own way. Yeah. Oh, stay out of this. Sit down there. Listen, you have till tomorrow morning to give it back to me. If not, I will tag you a thief and you will be disgraced in this palace. I'm not kidding. Mom! It's okay. No, 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 no. She's joking. I'm sure it doesn't make sense to her. Okay? I'm going to sort that out. 
Mom! I promise this weekend we'll have enough time to play around town. <laughs> no, no, I won't take it. I said I will not. What is it, Sandra? Hilary, I am so vexed. Mom just accused me falsely. How do you mean? Mom accused me of stealing her royal beads. Imagine! Is her royal bead missing? I don't know! That's what she said. Even if her real bid is missing, she shouldn't be the one to be accused. Just imagine, she used some derogative words back there, and I want her to take it back. It's okay, um, Jay, please. A minute. <coughs> I am not a thief! In the circles of secrets, circles, circles, circles. Mom, please, you need to stop. You are taking this too far. You are punishing Sandra and I don't like it. Then tell her to bring back my bead. There you go again. I will not stop until she returns it. There you go again, mother. She said she didn't take your bead. Then who did? Mom, please, can you go search very well in your room? It could be that you misplaced it. Hilary. You know I am a very careful person. There's no way I could have misplaced it. Hey, mom. You, mom, I think you really need to calm down, please. You will find your beat. Just calm down. Mom, please, you really need to calm down. Please, oh, the peace of this family is eluding us by the day. If she does not return my beat, there will not be peace in this palace. Mom. Mom, please calm down, okay? Bro. I think you really need to see mom on your home. Okay, let's assume um, Sandra took the bait. <laughs> She's supposed to be tagged. Thief. I'm really confused right now. Why don't you that video? Is it left? Is it right? Or should I hold? Yes, Collins. You said you wanted to discuss something with me. Yes, Dad. Okay, I'm all ears. I'm listening. You just heard it, Dad. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings? His Majesty, my bank going to the market. Okay. We ran out of food stores in the palace. You should be telling the Queen that, not me. Your Majesty, but the Queen is not in a right frame of mind. My weekend visitors are coming, and I think we should start restocking. She... If I am tomorrow, you do not see that. What I will do to you, you will regret it. Nonsense. Honey, oh, what is the problem? Mom, Hillary, come over. Food is ready. Okay, yeah, Mom, let's go. I cannot sit on the same table with a thief to eat. It's either she leaves or I leave. And that's too harsh. I just lost.
Big girl, you really need to talk to mom. She needs to calm down. She's taking this too far. I need to see Sandra. Are you eating or you're leaving us with? If you say the person this thing with you, then who did? See, I don't know who stole the baby. But the princess I know will not descend so low to Stevie. Tell me, what will she do with it? Same question I've been asking myself. Oh. But the way things are missing in this palace, it's becoming very alarming. You've noticed that? Yes, I have. Oh. Hmm. The king really has to do something else. The job might go missing one day. <laughs> no, no, it's not funny. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> and what are you both doing here? Put up to my face. That does not answer my question. Oh, my face. I am. I am. We be here. We be here. That just proves to me that you both were gossiping here. No, my friends. Will you keep quiet? I'm still talking. Before I close my eyes and open them, I want to go out of here right now. Now! Who says? <laughs> Mom, you willing to stop this saga? Now, my sister has become subject of discussion to this meeting. <sighs> so. You mean you stole the Queen's royal bead? Do you know this almost tore my family apart? You know, I'm sorry. And that's the reason why I need to go look for a solution. I'm sorry. Ah, ah. Hey. So you see, I really have to go. What are you reading? Good night, sir. Can I borrow? I'll return it. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Right. Now, what do you have to say? If you have nothing meaningful to say to me, can I go back to my duty post, please? Jane, do you know this life is not balanced? Of course I know the life is not balanced. So don't lecture me on that. Jane, Jane, you know I love you. You know I care about you. Jane, I'm here loving you. Dying for you while you're out there dying and loving a prince who doesn't even care if he exists. Just shut up. Let me worry myself about that. You just say, man, God, allow me to bother myself for the prince loving me. Very soon, the prince will marry me and make me his friend. And you will address that one. The earlier you turn your attention to me, the better for you. Really? You? The man has God. Do you in any way think I'm in your category because we work here? Listen, you trust the father's God. And I, am I am the chief man in this palace. So what I say stands. Listen, this should be the very last time you stop to say anything about this love issue. Wait, if I decide to allow you into my life, what reasons in your mind is your favorite territory? Is it? If I decide to check now, can you do it? You can't. So stop disturbing me. Whatever it will cost me, I must get you. Uh, Victor, yeah. I do think uh, Jim will accept this guy. Let him just drive his dog for you. Yeah. Because I don't just understand. Is the one you're ready? How did you go? <laughs> See, no, no need of asking. <laughs> From the look on his face, he said I didn't go well. Even as still, we need to hear from him so as to know where to advise him. Okay. So talk to us. She told me that you did. But I will not quit unless I get her. <laughs> see, see, uh, bro, uh, left for me, I, I would suggest you just let her be, okay? You can go for John, peace, or even Mary. You know, it's either Jane or no one else. <laughs> see, guys, guys, to be honest with you, you're taking this too hard on yourself. 
Seriously. The thing made in Zimid Nation of how so beautiful and wear manners and jeans. So I would advise you follow your heart and do what you're supposed to do. You understand? See, you just have to stop killing yourself or someone who doesn't even think you exist. You understand? Stop this thing you're doing because follow any of these other ones. I think you're going to be good. Sure. Guys, you guys should return back to your duty position. Circles of secret, we are going to the circles, circles of secret. <laughs> My angel. You know what? What? I think it's time I take my relationship with you formal. Yes. Come with my exotic wine, expensive, cannot me straight to your father and make my intention known to him. <laughs> that is so lovely. Honey. Yes? Is that a yes? Yes, my love, it is. <laughs> my love, just give me a bit of time. Starts immediately. Well, about that, I have to speak to Dad. He is in the best position to give you the answer. Okay, well, can you do me just one favor? What? Please, beg my king, your father, to give you the date and time on time. <laughs> so I just, I just can't wait to make you my wife. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll talk to him. And whatever he says, I'll pass across the information to you. I love the way you smile, Angel. It's yeah. as if I'm just seeing for the first time every day. <laughs> <laughs> to stay away from him. Stay away from you? I know you will pretend way to know who I'm talking about. But let me tell you, the next time I see you close to Prince Corus, what I will do to you, you will not live to say it. I thought you have something important. <coughs> Go back there. So you won't walk out of me? Huh? Bless you, I don't know what to do. Something very terrible to you. Says we want to look at you. This is madness, oh. Does she think that the prince will look in her way for any reason? Jeez! I can't believe this. Guess what? Yes. Christian wants to come with some drinks so he can see dad and make his intention known concerning us. Wow. <laughs> do you know I've been expecting him to do this for a very long time? What are you saying? I, I'm not comfortable with the whole arrangement. What do you mean you are not comfortable with your arrangement? Or you don't want to get married? Of course I do. But everything is happening so fast. That's how it should happen. I even want it more faster. No, no. Collins, I need you to help me slow him down. Please. Why? I mean, so I can take some time to sort out myself. You have nothing to sort out. You have known Christine for a very long time now. 
I expect you to jump into that marriage, even with your eyes closed. Yes. Think about it, sis. You don't understand. Why is Jen angry with you? That girl is very stupid. I don't even have her time. But that does not answer my question. See me see trouble. She came warning me to stay away from Prince Collins. That the prince belongs to her. That nobody can collect him. You can imagine that. That girl, is she okay? Hmm. No doubt she has mental problem. And I suggest she should be taken to psychiatric home for rehabilitation. <laughs> but that's harsh now. It's not funny, oh. It's the truth. Jeez! <laughs> oh God, that girl is so stupid. Oh my God, just calm down. Just calm down. I love you, Kristen. You are the best man for me. But I can't go into this marriage because I don't want you to be at the receiving end of my past. <laughs> I wish I can turn the hands of time. I wish I can make everything return to normal. <laughs> Please, you called me. And besides, both of you don't look happy. What is the problem? She wants to tell you something. You have to avoid change. Please, do all you can not to stand in her way. What exactly are you talking about? Jen is determined to deal with you if you continue to stand in her way. So I suggest you avoid her completely. I have no reason to stand in her way. So I don't know what her problem is. Mary, you have tell me all this because we care for you. Please, do all you can not to stand in her way. Jen can go to any loan to hurt you. She can't do anything to me. Do you understand? That is if you avoid her. We don't want anything to happen to you, please. Alright, I'll pay you. I don't know. We've talked to her. She wants to listen to us better for her. As for this conversation, I am done. Jane, I want you to leave Mary alone. Then tell her to stay off my way. She's not standing in your way. Mm -hmm. Do you think the prince can descend so low to have someone like you? Well, baby girl, the cook, allow me to bother about that. Tell Mary to stay off my way. She stopped distracting the prince from noticing me. If not, I'll do something to her. Yes! Really? Of course. If anything happens to Mary, read my lips. If anything happens to Mary, I will report you to the king. And you know how badly he deals with powerless offenders. Oh, shut up! Shut up! He's for the general of police. You will do what? If Mary doesn't stay off my way, if does not allow the prince to notice me, eh? What I will do to her? I will hit her so hard that she will regret ever. <laughs> Can you imagine this one? Even the prince you're craving for, does he notice you? Does he? Just shut up! You disgust me! <sighs> Can you imagine this one? Sir, the princess will join you shortly. All right. Thank you. Welcome. My princess. Wow. 
Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I have to leave all I'm doing at the office just to be with you. Wait a minute. You don't look happy. What's going on? I am afraid I will not marry you. Why? The message is clear. Have a good day, Kristen. Living in the world of wonder, feeling like in the midst of strangers. Princess! What's going on? She was very happy last time I talked to her about making my intentions known to her family members. But why wh 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 this sudden rejection? It's like reading a blank note, predicting what is not written. Why this outright rejection? Princess! Searching for. Jane, hmm? I've been meaning to have this discussion with you all along. It seems you've not been in the right frame of mind. <laughs> but today you're smiling. Of course, I'm smiling. That means you're happy. Ah, today is a very good day for me. So it's an necessity laid on me to be happy. <laughs> Please oblige me to know what makes you happy. It's my birthday. Wow. <laughs> so you see why I'm extremely happy. Yeah, happy birthday to you. Many more years to come. Thank you. You know what? What? You are the first person to wish me happy. Are you baby. serious? Yes, I think you deserve a hug. That <laughs> sounds <on>. interesting. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, come to think of it, Jane. Bro. You don't look happy. What is it? I thought we were in this together, but he is out there to betray me. What are you talking about? I saw him behind the palace, checking Jane. But he is out there to betray me. What are you talking about? I saw Vito behind the palace, warning Jane. That is not possible. The victor I know can never betray. But you know that I don't say what I'm not sure of. You know that. See, I, I, I think you need to calm down, okay? You need to calm down, okay? Please. I will kill Vito if he dares betray me. I need my news. Bro, bro, you need to calm down. You need to calm down, please, okay? My friend really loves you. He can do anything to prove his love for you. Why don't you just give him a chance? But I don't like your friend. Each time you turn him down, he's always in pain. Why don't you just give him a try? Do you think you can help him? Just get him pain reliever. <laughs> give him a chance now, please. There is nothing to consider there. I don't love your friend. Today is my birthday. Let me go freshen up and celebrate. <laughs> Jane. What just happened now with this compound? What happened? The prince I just took this and it's over between them. It's a lie. Hey, that's not possible. Hmm? Christian is every woman's dream. The princess cannot possibly turn him down. I witnessed it. Life and direct. If this is true, then something must be wrong with the princess. Something like what? One J. What? Mm. Gossips. This is what you people now to do the most in this palace. Nothing but gossip. Ha. Come on. 
What is her problem? Say I'll beat this small girl up. No, please don't touch her. Ah. For me, I don't want trouble. You don't look happy. What happened? Your sister turned down my marriage proposal. Why? She didn't give me any reason. Oh. It's okay. Don't let that bother you. Okay? I'm going to speak with her. My prince, thank you very much. I appreciate the concern. You're welcome. Can you please do me just one more favor? Okay. What is it? I would like to speak with the king. That's not a problem. Right Vito, Vito, you are a betrayer, a backstabber. Vito, I took you as my own, but you went at my back and lured her to you. You are shouting, bring your voice down. I won't. Why should I? See, Vito, let me tell you, I've already drawn a battle line between me and you. I'm prepared. Better get prepared. Nonsense. Victor, I must confess what he did was wrong. He indicated interest in her. See, both of you are getting this all twisted. My discussion with Jane was all in his favor. How do you mean? I was only persuading her to give him a chance that he likes her and he will take good care of her. But the question now is who sent me? Good day, ladies. Please, I want you to help me talk to Jane. Jane? That saucy girl. I beg, I don't talk to her. I don't even like her. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. Mm -mm. What's the condition? No condition, I beg. Bro, just go. Excuse me. Is it your condition? Ah, uh, what is it? Um, I want you to give me a decent salary. My monthly salary? Yes, now. That's too much. Mm -hmm. No, my monthly salary is what I used to take care of myself. It's too much. Can't I give you half? No. Mm -hmm. Bros, you have heard it all. This month's salary. And you can have Jane. Sure you want her. Have you now? Yes. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Abeg. Let's go. This month's salary. Hilary, I am fine. If you are fine, why did you turn down Christian's proposal without a reason? He is not the kind of man I want to spend the rest of my life with. I hope that's enough reason. Sandra, you're playing to the gallery and I want you to stop immediately. What other reason do you want me to give to you? Marriage is all about compatibility. We are not compatible. You know, the worst you can do in life is lie to yourself. Even the blind can see from the countenance on your face that you are lying to yourself. Greetings, my prince. My princess. What is it? The king demands to see you immediately. Tell my father I'll be there. Thank you. Just so you know, I am fine. My king, I love your daughter with all my heart. She means the world to me. It's okay, Christian. 
it is understandable. I mean, my daughter has told me on different occasions that you are the right man for her. So I don't see any reason you should have uh, the thinking of it turned down. Or did you quarrel with her? Not at all, my king. Not at all. So why this feeling of rejection? I don't know, my king. I don't know. Look at him. Very childish of you to report to my dad that I turned you down. Is this the kind of man you are? Is this the kind of husband you will be? Huh? Why to my parents at the slightest provocation? Sandra! I'm sorry, Dad. But please allow me to talk some sense into this man. I guess I should tell it to you straight up. So you understand the angle I'm coming from. Mr. Kristen, you are not my kind of man. So I would rather marry an impotent man than marry you. Just stop bothering me! Will you shut up? Please don't take this to heart. Young women sometimes become a fun. Yes, my king. Thanks, my king. Thank you very much. Bro, like I told you, you really have to calm down. I've listened to him. He's not betraying you. But why did he hug her? I was meant to be the one to hug her. Not him, of course. See, I, I, I really can't believe you're still accusing me on this. Ah! Vito, you call this an accusation? What I caught you in the art? Hey! See, 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 see. See, listen, you have to calm down. Let's hear him out. Please. Ah, what is all this? Okay. Okay. I'm all ears. Fine. I went to speak to Jane on his behalf. She told me today was her birthday. We hugged after I wished her happy birthday. What, 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 what was the big deal? Should I believe this? See, let me tell you something. Do you know you can use that medium to get her? How? Come, come. <laughs> that is it. Ah! You are done. I don't know you are doing that. You have sense like this. Try. See, just do it. Try. Thank you. Try. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry for yourself. Bro, you need to calm down. You too. Calm down. Ah, two of you should calm down. Um, see, I need to rush fast. I'm going to do that. Thank you so much. Please don't, don't. Hi, Christian. You don't have to live angry, okay? We can sort this out. My prince, I have never been this belittled, humiliated, and embarrassed all my life. Christian, you mustn't say all this to buttress your point. You know what baffles me? Your sister. She could not say anything plausible as to why she does not want to marry me. Hold on, Christian. Can I ask you? What? Is it true that your sister? There is no iota of truth there. No iota of truth there. She was just blabbing, and I hate that kind of life. Well, I believe you, but I... My sister was speaking out of experience. I'm not kind of... Like I said, that is not truth. That's a lie. I know myself. I'm very active and strong down there. But oh, you wanted to try it. <laughs> I cover myself with the blood of the most high. I'm a man. And then do you, you want iron to sharpen iron? No, 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 please. Don't go there. Thank you. Hey, right, Christian, take it easy. Hey. I understand you, man. It's like walking in the dark, cannot see, cannot know what's standing right beside you. You just have to keep walking and keep on believing. You gonna see the light again while walking. <laughs> no doubt, Christian is not a man. Why did you say that? The princess said. His federal capital territory is no longer the center of unity. Bad girl. See how you call it that. But that is the truth. Any man whose federal capital territory is no longer functional, that man is as good as dead. I'm so serious about this. Is relationship all about sex? 
<laughs> Look at this girl. Now I know you are sleeping on a moving bag. So let's make the work. Abuja is the capital territory of Nigeria, right? So if Abuja should collapse, will there be peace and unity in Nigeria anymore? Oh no! So it is to a man whose federal capital territory is no longer functional. That man is. And there will be no peace and unity in that marriage or relationship. Hmm. Huh. Such a spoiled child. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you like good things? Yeah, like As for me, my mom must be very active. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. He must be able to fire from all cylinders. <laughs> that is beauty. That is what we call sexual satisfaction. Okay. Can we go back to our little place? Of course you should, because I am off. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you later. How have you been living, man? My brother, you are doing well. Um, um, please call it. Don't you think it's time you bring Krishna home? I mean, define what you have with her and introduce her to your parents. You are correct. I have it in mind to do that very soon, any moment from now. Uh, do you know why I'm saying all this? She's a beautiful girl. And she can capture any man's attention. The earlier you do that, the better you save yourself from dragging her with other men. I know. I know. Very soon. You know I love her so much and I'm ready to present her anywhere. You don't need to tell me. I know you love her so much. Mm. You know, I'm a good friend. Yeah. The earlier you do that, the better for you. Nice that right. Thank you, my brother. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> so, how is business? Mm. We are coping well. All right. Hoping that things will be all right. Oh, good. <laughs> I understand how you feel. You know, as at that point, the only thing that will be ringing on your mind is let the earth just yawn so that I'll go in at once. Ben, and you can see that again. I know. I you know. can see that again. In I fact, know. I drained immediately. It's not me, Christian. I know myself. I know how dangerous I am on bed. <laughs> Come on, man. See? See? Sandra is only being a woman. Okay? So I advise you to go back to her. I will never try it. That's impossible. That she humiliated me, insulted me in front of her father. Never. Don't try it. Christian, when you sound like this, it means you are not ready for marriage. Yeah. What do you mean by that? All right, I'll tell you. See, of all the creatures that God made, women are the most unpredictable amongst them. You understand me? You, you are pushing yourself too hard. You see, like I said earlier, she's only being a woman. They are full of attitude. They can come up with anything. The only thing that will make you a man at this point is to brace up for the challenge and then go back. Okay? I won't try it. Never. She insulted me, humiliated me. She said unorthodox words to me. Come on, Christian. You don't have to recount all that, okay? Like I said earlier, she's only been a woman. Brace up for the challenge. See? <laughs> Your ability to go back to Sandra is what makes you a man. Do you understand me? Don't throw away everything you've shared with her in the past just because she embarrassed you. Come on, man. Easy, okay? I know how you feel. Take it easy, man. It's okay, no problem, it's okay. So, talk of the devil. She's the one calling. Come on, go ahead, pick the call. No, I won't pick. Oh. When, she, when she's tired of calling, she will rest. When she's tired of calling, she will rest. Kristen, look, let me tell you. The Sandra I know can never get tired of calling you. Just watch and see. Best you go. Oh, I 
said to him, Come on, man. Don't be childish. Pick the call. Correct. What do you want, Elon? I'm so sorry for my childish behavior earlier today. Believe me, I don't know what came over me. I mean today, you humiliated me, Sandra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I promise you. I promise you it will never happen again. Baby. Are you there? Oh. Can you please talk to me? The more you keep quiet, the more heartbroken I become. Baby, please, tell me you're forgiving me. Are you, are you there? I'm here. Can you come see me? That means you're still upset with me. I've heard your voice. I'm okay now. Okay. Can I come see you? Tomorrow. You promise? Cross my heart. Okay. I love you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't oh, Benan, I don't understand this girl. It's okay. I don't understand this girl at all. That's the power of love, okay? Easy, come on. Don't push it too hard on yourself. Okay? Why are you crying? Is it your cry? Huh? Please allow me to cry. <sighs> Happy birthday. I bought you a gift. Don't let that thing touch me. Don't! Please, Kira. Don't you touch me! Oh, Jim, you know it. What else will I do for you? You know I care for you. All I ask is just a chance in your life. There is no space for people of your class in my life. There is no space for that. The prince is who I want, not you! Get out! Please. I said get out, dummy! Crying. <laughs> Did anybody die? It would be better if someone dies than what just happened to me. This is serious. What happened? <laughs> My heart is broken. I'm in pain. Jane, keep me into your words. What is wrong with you? The prince. Prince Collins. I am here loving him when he's there. Loving another woman. <laughs> I thought she had something meaningful to say. Mm -hmm. Jane, the earlier you wake up from this malaria dream, the better for you. That's all you have to say to me. My dear, what will I do? How are you? I'm fine. I saw Jane crying yesterday. What is her problem? That girl. I have not seen a girl as stupid as Jane. What did she do this time? Just 
because she had friends calling, talking about his fiance. She started crying. Cry. But how? The same question I asked her. Jane is mentally delayed. And if something is not done urgently to cure her, one day she will run into the street and be mad. You're very, very funny. That is the truth. It is not funny at all. Jane. Well, let, me, let, me, let me concentrate. Huh. Jane. Oh. Let me go to what I'm doing. My dear, take care. No doubt. Ah. Everywhere is still. Ah, ah. Ah. Where? These are things you're supposed to be. Like, you make her happy, she will make you happy. You know, both of you will be happy. Not fight today, quarrel tomorrow. This is <laughs> Thank you very much, my prince. But first, I would like to say another big thank you for your concern. Your effort towards making me and your sister to come together. I really appreciate it. But be that as me, what I wanted for her is to be happy. I want her to to look good. Okay. And when she's happy, I too will be happy. Uh uh, you see? <laughs> <laughs> you see, this thing now, eh, we are supposed to go out for you know little enjoyment, less tons on you know <laughs> you understand you understand me. Uh, practically I would have loved to, but uh, I have this huge fire at the office waiting for me to attend to. Let's do it next time. And that next time, the bills will be on me. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Have you heard the latest? The last time I could remember, we are not best of friends. So if you have anything to say to me, say it now because I want to be out. Oops! Prince Collins will soon bring the love of his life. Hmm? The woman he wants to marry to this palace. To meet with the royal family. And once that is done, I guess you'll perish your idea of marrying the prince. <laughs> that will not happen. Not when I, Jane, is alive in this palace. It is already happening. The decision is made. The royal family is expecting her. <laughs> Maybe by then, you will wake up from this unrealizable dream of yours. Just get out! <laughs> get out! Jeez! Did she just do that? I don't care who she is. I don't even want to know. The prince belongs to me and no woman will take me away from me. I can kill! I can maim. I just hope she's hearing me so that she can start avoiding the prince because she can't stand the wait when I come for her. Bernard, my good friend, I don't like it when you keep me waiting. Uh, I don't like it. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry, okay? Just that I had few issues to fix at the office. I had to step back to tidy it up. But finally I still met you. I'm it's sorry. Right, once right. again. It's okay, no problem. It's okay. Okay, so tell me, how did it go with the princess? Oh. Talk to me about it. <laughs> My Sandra. Well, it went well. Wow. We are together again. Oh. And stronger. I like that. Thank you very much. I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But then, Christian. There is something I want you to know about women. Yeah? Okay. I'm all ears. You see, women are not the kind of people you hold too tight. Because if you do that, certainly they will die off. Are you saying that if I hold a woman too strong in my right arm, they will die in my arm? Certainly. And if I lose a beat in my left arm, they might fly away? Yeah. Off they go. They fly. You see, you see, Christian, that is the complexity surrounding women. You understand? To me, I have come to discover that it is good to allow a woman do her thing. Free a woman, give her some space. 
when she is doing that which pleases her and hits the rock, certainly she will come back to you crying. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bernard, you mean by doing so, the blame will not be on me? That is it. Of course, it is still the complexity involved in dealing with women. They are a special kind of being, you know. You don't take it too hard on them, else you crash the whole thing. It's fine, no problem. You always have your way with his logic, his way you through your communication. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine, no problem. No problem. I, just, I, just, I just spoke out of experience. No problem. Know? Let's step out of this place. Okay, let's go. I still insist that you bring one of your sons into politics. <laughs> it goes a long way to secure the indomitable future you always wanted for them. Honorable, the call is theirs to make. I know, but you have to talk to them about it first. Then you allow them to take a decision. Honorable, politics is a dirty game. I wouldn't want any of my children to take part in it. My queen, gone are the days we see politics as a dirty game. Your Majesty. You can attest to it that we have men of integrity in our political arena now. Your That's Majesty, true. food is ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be there soon. No! This will not work. Katrina, I will not allow you to do this to my brother. You are asking me to keep quiet in my own house? Get out! Out! Sandra, I am going nowhere. Yes, you did not invite me here, so you cannot throw me out. Really? Yes. You leave me with no choice than to force you out of my father's palace. Get out! Get out! 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 What is going on here? Hillary, this thing is not person. She's a thing. Get out! Please go and check what is happening. Okay, my king. Do you know you're embarrassing my guest right now? Oh. I'm calling Scandal. Uh, I will see to whatever it is. This is no guest. Before I say anything, you know, get out! Get out! Mean to get out! What Just has come over you? Princess attacked that lady like that. I think the both ladies have a long history together and they are trapped in a circle of secrets. My brother, 
I agree with you. And that secret is about to come to the full glare of the public. Honestly speaking, that was a wrong approach by the princess. But I pray nothing happens to that lady. I pray so too. Because if anything happens to that lady, the princess will go to jail. Obviously she will. <laughs> Let me rush and attend to the palace to do this. Circles of secret, we are going. Circles, circles of secret. In the world of secret, it's like walking in the dark. Cannot see, cannot know what's standing right beside. You are wicked, Jane. Why do you do a thing like that? Jane, I don't know why you told the princess that made her hate Katrina so much, but I suggest you go back and tell her it was all lies. Yes. Because what is so, you will rip it. My dear, a word is enough for the wise. Let us go. Let's go. <sighs> Look at them. You just don't think I can go to any length to get the prince to marry me. But it's girls. We are all loving in circles, circles, hey. It's like reading a black note, predicting what is not written. Jane did this, but the question is, why would the princess swallow everything she told her? Hook, line, and sinker. Jane had no hand in this. Yes, I am surprised you're the one saying this. I overheard the confrontation between the lady and the princess. It says they've met somewhere before meeting today in the palace. No, I don't believe you, Chef. But that is the truth. Jane has absolutely nothing to do with this. Yes. This is, this is not believable at all. Doctor, is she all right? Yes, Your Majesty. Praise God. <laughs> Your Majesty, I really thank God you people brought me here on time. If not, she would have lost the pregnancy out of shock. Your Majesty, I suggest you take good care of her. Don't put her under any form of pressure. Give her food to eat. She still is pregnant. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, it's alright. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you, Majesty. I know you think a day like this will never come. But here we are. It's confession time. So I want everybody here to pay attention to the few things I have to say. Princess Sandra here was my best friend in the University of Onsoka. Although she was not a princess then. Sleeping with politicians, any rich men we can lay our hands on, was like our hobby, like things we do just to make sure that we are here. Like we are better than every other person in the campus. My daughter? Yes, <laughs> Your Majesty. <sighs> we did a series of abortions. Like, we killed babies. Like, abortion became order of the day. Like, things we enjoyed doing. We did it like people that had no conscience. We just killed for nothing. But. Katrina. Where is Sandra? She is too down. That's why she couldn't come out with me. How do you mean she is too down? What is the meaning of that? We went to see the doctor. And he said she can no longer have another abortion. If she do that, she will lose her own. You know what that means? How do you mean? That she knows nothing about abortion? That she cannot handle a common abortion? Go 
common abortion she cannot handle. What kind of doctor is that? Listen, don't worry about that anymore. I have a professional doctor who will carry out the abortion perfectly without any mistake. I will take her there. She said the word is a small place. I didn't believe it. I was actually viewing it from the perception of geographical spread of the universe. Like I was wondering how big, how large the world is. Millions of people everywhere. People die every day and all that. But today, it dawned on me that the world is indeed a small place. <laughs> Your Majesty, one of the men that caused 70% of the daughter's problem is actually here in this house and staring at all of us. Honorable? Whoever took your daughter to a professional doctor that helped her to get away with the emotion, but destroyed her womb. Yes, he did that. So, Princess Sandra, what did you say again? That if there is anyone here who is an empty can. It's definitely not Honorable, come with me. The of secret It's like walking in the dark. Cannot see, cannot know what's standing right beside you. You just have to keep walking and keep on believing. You cannot see the light again. While walking, you keep on wondering. Is it left, is it right, or should I hold? Living in the world of wonders, feeling like in the midst of strangers. Yes! What did you just say again, Mrs. Santa? Now you know the phrase that said, those that live in a girl's house do not trust those. Will you keep quiet? So you are a wrong game? And you have been deceiving me? Ah! I regret knowing you. I swear. You have it. No, you have it. At least have a baby. There is a baby that is actually coming. Unlike you. You don't have anything. I'm ashamed of you both. You are a disgrace to woman. Why did you do this to me? Uh, uh, apologies, Your Majesty. Huh? You know how these things work. Uh, you were into the game before you became king. Please don't remind me of this. I'm sorry. I didn't know she said that. So, how do we remedy this situation for her? Actually, I don't know. Even if the doctor say the game is over for her, God that gives children can still show her mercy. As he did for Katrina. He can still do it for your daughter. Though grace differs. In the world of secret, it's like walking in the dark, cannot see, cannot know what's standing right beside you. You just have to keep <laughs> My daughter, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wonder, feeling like in the midst of strangers, not knowing what to do, but keep on wandering in the circles of secrets. You've seen it. You've seen where you landed yourself. The instruction was. Go to school, study hard, become a better person for yourself and the community at large. But no, you went to school to live a breathless life and now you've seen where you landed yourself. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> After everything mom and dad did for you? <laughs> hey. 
I wish I could go on live TV so I can educate those girls that are still doing wrongs. I wish I can create an awareness to inform them that that life does not pay. It doesn't pay. In most cases, our future is being exchanged for peanuts given to us by those politicians. It doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. <laughs> Abandon her because of her past. We all have past. And we're not dead. I've made up my mind, Dad. I'm done with her. <sighs> if God judges us by our sins, we would not be alive today. Because our sins must have even been worse than this. That girl is carrying your unborn child. Are you going to abandon her and throw her away and throw the unborn child away also? I don't care, Dad. She has been sleeping with different men. I'm fed up. Collins. That unborn child will be born someday. Who knows? That same unborn child. He may become the president of this country one day. Then you will care. But he may be too late. My prince, see, if you drink for Nauti tomorrow, it will not change anything. See, I understand how you feel. You love Katrina, yes. But what you have to do now is to forgive her, so that both of you will salvage what is left of her, okay? She was a wrong girl, sleeping with different men. I know. So no need of telling me. I know. But the fact now is that she's a changed person. And that should mean something to you. I'm done with her. She's done with her? What about your unborn child? Who knows if that child is mine? Look, David. I believe that child is a product of France. <gasps> Leonard, I don't understand. You sounded as if the world is going to collapse. Now you are in your car, alas. Christian, you sound as if you've not heard what happened. What happened? I didn't hear anything. Besides, I'm not a woman that goes around gossiping, spreading rumor. Come on. 
this is not all about rumor or gossip. See, <laughs> news coming from the palace has it that your woman, the princess, my woman, does not have a womb, bro. Yeah. Bernard! We've been friends for long. You don't joke with things like this. What do you mean this nonsense? What are, you what, what, what are you telling me? Calm down, Christian. Calm down. You are my good friend. That's why I'm telling you this. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you how it happened. The secret of the princess was brought to the public by a school friend of hers that happened to be fiancé to Prince Collins. She came to the palace to visit and she blew everything open. Bernard, please, please, I, 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 bring me up to speed. I can't digest what you're telling me right now. I need to understand you. Please, give me the blueprint. Give... It's okay, it's okay, calm down. Listen. You see, let me play you the tape of what happened today at the palace. The princess, according to the story, lived a very wrong life in the past. I heard what happened. Nancy, when did you come? Just now. Prince Hilary told me about everything. And I just... No need for that. I'll move on. Move on? Yeah. Collins, you don't just move on. I'll move on. <laughs> You've moved on. Just like that, Collins. When you love somebody, you're not in a haste to leave them behind. Nancy. You see, that feeling died when I discover the kind of life she lived in the past. I like that. You said lived in the past, Collins. Listen, you kept my secrets for me because you wanted it to work between your brother and I. Even though I did worse things. You know my history. And you've been there for me. You've kept my secret for me. And I appreciate it. Then talk about someone you love, Collins. See, none of us is without a sin, okay? None of us, including you. You know that. So why would you just want to just throw away everything you have because of something she did in the past? So, just find a place in your heart to forgive her. Because all of that is in the past now. She's a changed person. Okay? I see it working and keep on believing. You gonna see the light again. While walking, you keep on wondering. Is it left? Is it right? Or should I hold? Living in the world of wonder. Feeling like in the midst of strength. So it's true. You have skeleton in, the, in your cupboard all along and you pretend to be an angel. Christian, you won't understand. Please stop. Understand what? Of course, I don't expect to say otherwise. The truth they say is bitter. Thank God we're not able to conjure me into marrying you. Christian, if I had wanted our marriage to work, we would have been married by now. Christian, I love you. And I want the best for you. You're too distant for a woman like me. That was why I kept on discouraging you from getting married to me. But you, but you kept on coming and coming and I had to give in. Believing that God will look upon my situation and turn it around for good. But now that the cat is being led out of the bag, I think we should call it a queen. I will never, never regret knowing you. You are a good man and you deserve the best. We can be friends. That is if you still want us to be. So, I, I give you the permission to look for a good woman 
marry who will bear you children. Please take me home. Sandra, hold on. Hold on, Sandra. Sandra, my love, my angel. I, I still love you with all my heart. I, I do love you. You are everything to me. You're my better half. Listen, the good Lord Almighty that forgave your friend Catherine, if you beg for mercy, he will forgive you. Oh, wow. Only, only listen, I'm not, I don't want you to marry me because I want to bear me children. I found companion in you. I feel this for you. You're my better half. I'm a fool for you. My love, one cannot fall in love and be wise. We are in this together. I will let you go. I will let you go. see, cannot know what's standing right beside you. You just have to keep walking and keep on believing. You cannot see the light again. Bernard, my brother, I don't know how to thank you. The way you apply wisdom, the way you, 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 you advise me on how to go with my girl, it all works. Thank you very much. If not, by now, I don't think my love will be mine. It works. Mm -hmm. You need me to understand that to follow a woman, you must, you must have this perseverance. Mm -hmm. I should communicate with them when they are communicating. I should let them be free. Mm -hmm. I am happy for you. I am happy for you. I know that uh, if I am the one that saw myself in that same position, that you will be there to advise me. Of course, I will only if I have this kind of brain. Oh, come on, come on. You see, uh, these things, is, it comes like an inspiration, you know. It comes, it goes. Okay? And then, you are my good friend. I wouldn't allow you walk into the bush. I will always right. be there for you. You're right. You know? You see, women, women, like I told you, or like I used to say, they're very complicated in nature. You understand me? You must be very patient with them. You know? You must be one step ahead of them. You see, that is it. For you to deal with a woman, you must come down to the lowest level of life. Else, you will always have issues with them. Yeah, thank God. Thank you very much, Bernard. It's all right, Christian. So this calls for celebration, don't you? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's 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 hit somewhere. All right. All right. Just have to keep walking and keep on believing. You gonna see the light again. While walking, you keep on wondering: Is it left? Is it right? Or should I hold? Living in the world of wonders, feeling like in the midst of strangers. Not knowing what to do, but keep on wallowing in the circles of secrets. <laughs> That's why you're my queen. Yes. Honestly, I saw your presentation with the governor's wife, and it was nice. It was really intelligent. Mm -hmm. You enjoy your trip. Yes. Great. Well, hope you come back uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're working for the community. <laughs> All right. Father. Yes, Collins. I know mom is supposed to be here, but I also understand she's also busy. Dad, she's really the woman I would like to spend the rest of my life with. Oh. It's a good decision, son. And, uh, it was good that you brought her back into your life. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so, I ever present her to you as my future wife. You have done no sir. I mean, and both that. of you will make a very good pair. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah? Yeah. Isn't it, Katrina? Yes, your majesty. Good. <laughs> okay, come up. Let me bless both of you. Well, as you have uh, decided to come together as man and wife, God will bless your union, oh, Amen. and God will make your loins full of male children and female children, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
In the circle, baby, we are well over the circle. Circle, 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 circle. We are well over the circle. Circle, circle, circle. We dance, feeling like in the midst of strangers, not knowing what to do, but keep on wallowing in the circles of secrets. It's like reading a black note We think to what is not written hey, It's like searching in the dark Not saying what you are searching for Just swallowing the circle Circle, circle.